Let me tell you a story about the cripples cultivating blood. Got a marijuana problem in it. Never get much help. Cause he's like, and he's not that helpless. Cause he did it to himself. In a week's time, he lost his dog to a kidnapping. And he lost his washer and dryer because the washer exploded and they fell through the floor of his house. And he was at Daniels, West Virginia one night at the roadhouse. Somebody pushed him or shoved him or punched him in the face and his leg got caught in the motherfucking bar stool and he fell and legs snapped in half and his dad passed away talking about my man had a rough week we'll recap his washer and dryer fell through the floor. His dog got kidnapped. He was at the bar called the Roadhouse in Daniels, West Virginia when he got knocked off the stool and he broke his fucking leg. And his dad died. And the ATFDEA Federal Squad don't know, but they showed up at his house at 6 in the morning, and I was passed out on his couch at the end of the most fucked up week he ever had. They were on his porch to tell them, to tell him. To tell all the fucked up people that was hung over at his mom's house that there's big marijuana plants on the back porch. You know it's against the law, but you're not that damn helpless. You did it to yourself and all. He's the crippled, cultivating, but he's got his reasons why. He's fundraising cause he had a rough week under all of the shit. He's a pretty nice guy. Unless he's been drinking.